What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and this morning, we're going to be talking about the open beta for Black Ops 6 multiplayer, COD Next, plus even more early access. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and as a big reminder, there's plenty of brand new article coverage going up on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. There has been so much to report on over these last few days, especially when it comes to the Black Ops 6 Direct event. With that, I want to start off by talking about an alpha for BO6 multiplayer, since I have seen some questions around the community asking about this this about a month or so ago there were some leaks that got posted on twitter in regards to a black ops 6 mp alpha from my understanding that could have just been the alpha that is used for internal play testing not necessarily a public alpha like we saw for games like mw19 cold war even vanguard i'm also under the assumption that the alphas for those games were strictly a part of a playstation exclusivity deal that wasn't meant to ever really be a concept i think if they were going to do an alpha for a cod they would probably want it to be similar to a beta where it's available for all platforms, but that's probably something that Sony wanted strictly for PlayStation exclusivity since none of those alphas ever made their way to Xbox or even PC. Now, although I did play Black Ops 6 a couple of days ago, I'm still not allowed to provide you guys with impressions just yet, but to my understanding, it is okay to say that was an alpha build of the game, and that's probably the only alpha that we're ever going to see for Black Ops 6. Now, during the Black Ops 6 Direct event, COD Next ended up getting announced. It was confirmed that on August 28th, there'll be a third COD Next event. We previously saw events like this for games like MW2 and even MW3. They use those events to fully reveal the game's multiplayer. They had about, I want to say, 200 plus creators on site in LA playing the entirety of the game itself. There were new matches being played of multiplayer, even Warzone. Sneak peeks were provided of DMZ and even Zombies, respectively. So those events were pretty damn big. I was lucky enough to attend both of them. I have some vlogs on those events linked down below in this video's description. But it was confirmed that for COD Next within Black Ops 6, we're going to be getting even more details about multiplayer and and even zombies. I would certainly expect a multiplayer reveal trailer to premiere either right before or during COD Next. Then you have a bunch of creators on site playing the beta. And then when it comes to zombies, I'm sure we'll end up getting a reveal of sorts before the next event, but the first gameplay of zombies probably won't be until COD Next officially begins. And I think they're going to end up talking more about the Black Ops 6 Warzone integration during this COD Next event. As of right now, very little is known about what's happening other than the fact that the omnidirectional movement is going to be integrated with Warzone as of this fall. There's rumors about Verdansk coming back, but I don't even think that really fits with a Black Ops 6 update with Season 1. There's also a possibility that at COD Next, they want to go ahead and mention what's going to happen to Warzone Mobile. Will we end up seeing some big Black Ops 6 integration with that game when it comes to your synchronized progression? Will they change the movement of mobile completely? I'm really curious to see what they end up talking about, but if they're going to mention that at COD Next, it remains to be seen. Now, just this morning, it appears a leak did pop up of the beta dates for Black Ops 6 multiplayer, and I was actually planning on making a video like this anyway, since with the two previous COD Next events, the multiplayer betas for MW2 and 3 ended up beginning about 24 hours after the COD Next live stream. What's going to be different this time, though, is that it appears the beta is set to go live right after the COD Next live stream concludes. Not a day later, the same day. So on Wednesday, August 28th, weekend one of the BO6 beta should be starting, and it's going to end on September the 3rd. This is considered the closed portion of the Black Ops 6 Alpha, which means that this is only for players out there who pre-ordered the game, whether you pre-ordered the full amount for a regular edition, vault edition, or whether you are subscribed to Game Pass and you go ahead and take part in the beta that way. Once again, as a reminder, Game Pass subscribers will be able to take part in the Black Ops 6 beta without having to pay full price for the game. But as far as when Weekend 2 could start, the fact that the first weekend ends on Tuesday the 3rd has me thinking that the second weekend might not start until the 5th or the 6th. This is going to be a very different type of beta this year as opposed to any recent ones that we've gotten ever since, what, BO3 2015? Betas have become a staple for Call of Duty multiplayers, but typically what we see is weekend one, you have a couple of days for people that pre-ordered, and then a couple of days for people that didn't pre-order, it'll just be open, but that's just for PlayStation. Then the second weekend is where you get all platforms with access to the beta, but this time around, it was confirmed by Phil Spencer already that we're not going to be seeing any console exclusivity or platform exclusivity whatsoever with the Black Ops 6 beta. That means all platforms during weekend one can jump in so long as they pre-order. Maybe weekend two will be dedicated time slot when players who didn't pre-order could jump in for free regardless if they're on a PC, Xbox, or even a PlayStation. It remains to be seen or they could even change it to where they just kind of extend the beta a little bit longer for just 
maybe six, seven days, and then there isn't a second weekend, I'll keep you guys posted with what's going to be happening with this. But also to clarify, when it comes to Game Pass, there was something that I think I even got confused with in my recent video where I talked about all the additions. So they do mention in the recent COD blog the various Game Pass tiers that you can use to play Black Ops 6. As a reminder, Game Pass Ultimate will give you access to the entire game. That's campaign, multiplayer, and zombies, since that also comes with Game Pass Core, which is kind of like the Xbox Live to play online. That's one tier. The other tier is Game Pass PC, and it says that you can play the campaign as well as MP and zombie online modes on your PC. Game Pass PC subscribers will have access to the standard edition on the PC Microsoft Store, but then there's Game Pass Console. So this is just the campaign only on your Xbox Series X, S, or Xbox One. Uh, this does not come with any type of online MP or zombies experience. You would have to upgrade your Game Pass Console tier to either Game Pass Ultimate, or you'd have to just pay an extra fee for Game Pass Core so you can have that online connectivity for the MP and zombies. So once again, three different tiers total for Game Pass, but I got a little confused here with the blog post because they showed four tiers. I'm also not really familiar with Xbox all that much, but now I get it. Xbox Game Poor is just your online subscription. But as they remind us right here, Game Pass Ultimate or Game Pass Console subs can download the open beta during its early access window and the full game at launch from your Xbox console. Game Pass Console subs will need to upgrade to Game Pass Ultimate or additionally subscribe to Game Pass Core to play the online content, though. That's the multiplayer and the zombies. Now on PC, Game Pass Ultimate or Game Pass PC subs can download the open beta during its early access window and the full game at launch from your PC Microsoft Store. But I do want to remind you that with previous betas we've gotten, there should be a bunch of rewards you can also earn for free just by hitting certain milestones and levels during the duration of each weekend. We could be looking at rewards like blueprints, calling cards, emblems, charms, and even a really cool operator skin. I think the MW3 beta rewards were pretty damn impressive, so you can bet the Black Ops 6 ones are probably going to be that much better. I'm also curious how they're going to handle these rewards though, right? Will there just be one set for one weekend or just one set for both in total, depending on what the level cap ends up being during the beta? It'll probably be no more than like level 30 or maybe even all the way up to 50. Who actually knows? But none of the beta progress, as a reminder, will end up transferring to the launch of the game itself. Everything will be wiped once the game does release, but all your beta rewards should transfer over to the full launch of the game if you went ahead and earned them. I also want to remind you that uh, as with Modern Warfare 3, you should be able to bring in your Vault Edition cosmetics into the beta, so that'll mean your operator skins like Adler, Park, Brutus, Klaus, your five different Mastercrafts, you should be able to bring all that into the beta. That was a new offer that MW3 introduced that I don't believe MW2 offered, but if I'm wrong about that, feel free to correct me down below. That should be something cool just to kind of get a heads up as to what the Vault Edition cosmetics are like before the full game comes out. Now, for those wondering what's going on with potential early access to campaign or even zombies, those have been some rumors that I think have circulated the internet for quite some time. So first off, as of right now, there's been no mention of campaign early access, which I'm a little concerned about because I would love to jump into campaign a good week or two before the full launch because you already know the launch of the game is going to be crazy with the full-fledged multiplayer. People are going to be doing races to prestige. We have two round-based maps, so I like to play the campaign without worrying about missing out on progress in MP or zombies. I love that that was an offer for both MW2 and 3, but I'm kind of doubtful that it'll be an offer for Black Ops 6. Although I will hold out some hope, let's just wait and see. Windows Central did report many months ago that apparently early access to zombies is going to be an offer at some point, which may give players up to a week or two of early access to maybe just one round based map, not both of them. If that is the case, that's going to be massive, and that's probably something that'll be saved for a COD Next announcement later in August. But there's even the possibility that early access to the game could account for every single mode. I also doubt that, but I'm going to mention the possibility just in the case that ends up happening because once again, this is a much different Call of Duty release this time around considering the Microsoft acquisition. Xbox is shaking things up when it comes to how rewards work, the betas, early access, Game Pass integrations. A lot of changes coming to the COD franchise with the launch of Black Ops 6, and I'm really curious to see what all those changes are. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the open beta leaks for Black Ops 6 multiplayer according to Game UK? How are you feeling about the COD Next announcement? Plus, everything else we discussed. Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.